we had heard rumours of 3D Systems producing a large scale printer, which is something we always battle with, is actual build size, build volume. Sort of at the last second, we did find that this machine did exist. It was a prototype machine over in Leuven. Once we started talking to them, they hadn't printed anything that big, let alone in titanium. And so we started having that discussion that we would like to buy one should we be able to print the gearbox in it. And they agreed to do um, prototype prints in that, in that machine. So we went forward with Ricardo assuming that we could build in that size of printer. So we could divide the gearbox up into more desirable pieces. So this is only a four piece box. There's a front case, mid plate, rear case, and there's a side cover on the other side there. And that means that it was gonna be structurally good and we're not just bolting it together because we couldn't print large enough. We've got exactly what we want in a, in a product that we know is gonna perform. No compromises in any part of the transmission it, and the entire thing's completely custom for our application. For the amount of power and torque that the engine's got, it's very light. You know, it's much lighter than, than most others. The titanium case gives you a substantial benefit over either a cast aluminium case or a billet machined aluminium case. Titanium's just a fundamentally better material for the job, so you pick up significantly there. With the printing, we're able to print various passageways and ports and ribs and things that it'd be much more difficult to do on the casting side and impossible if you were machining it from a billet.